An Alberta Health Services ophthalmologist in Calgary is part of a national study comparing two types of laser therapy to treat glaucoma. Glaucoma is a buildup of pressure in the eye that can lead to blindness if it goes untreated. There is no cure and the condition can only be managed with eye drops, laser therapy or, in more serious cases, surgery. Well, there are really about five different types of drops. So you would use drops before pills. The pills are very effective but can have significant side effects. So you really try to stay away from the pills. And the surgical procedures are very good, but they are more invasive and there can be complications. So the laser falls nicely into a niche where people don't have the side effects of the medications and don't have the complications of the surgery. Although both types have been used for a number of years, it's not well understood whether selective laser trabeculoplasty or argon laser trabeculoplasty offer the best options for repeat treatments. The newer one uses lower energy and therefore is probably a little bit safer. Also the spot size for the older one is smaller so it's a bit less forgiving in terms of application whereas the newer one is, is more forgiving. Bruce MacArthur received laser therapy for his glaucoma on May 12th as part of the study. It's, it's pretty clear from, from uh, uh, talking to the doctors so over the years that, that if I didn't take drops there's a good chance that I would uh, go blind similar to my, to my grandfather. So. That's something obviously you want to avoid and, and uh, it's fantastic having this type of uh, uh, medical capability here in Calgary and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll, this test and this, this project will result in you know, improvements to treatments across Canada. It's rare to get a real blockbuster result, but it can happen. Um, even if it does steer us in a certain direction, that's helpful. And I think we just had an investigator meeting in Halifax at the annual meeting, and we were discussing about other possible spin-offs from the study. It's such a good database, and the study's been so well done prospectively, that I think we'll have other spin-offs that may be beneficial as well, too. Glaucoma is one of those very sort of insidious things that you don't really notice it immediately. It's a very gradual, uh, very uh, slow change. So, um, you know, the results of the study um, in ch any change would be gradual over time. So just waiting to find out if there has been an effect. The study is being led by the Lawson Health Research Institute, which is part of the London Health Sciences Centre in Ontario. Researchers are looking for 144 participants in five centres across Canada, of which about 30 will be from Calgary.